towards zeros, and high on that list is O Onet O Opet Orville J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson has remained in the public's eye both through his first commercials and his presence on ABC Monday Night Football. Celebrity Street will follow Mr. Simpson for a day, learning a little bit more of his routine and how he tackles life as a <laughs> Big time sports, it just looks like here. Yeah. You don't give me some space, you ain't gonna be El Presidente. Ah, chill out, Gramps. Gramps? Huh. What's a young punk like you know about Mr. O.J. Simpson anyway? What do I know about my main man, O.J.? <laughs> Up again, you look good though. As a married old man, I saw Nico. She sure looks like a ten. I hope you and she live happily. You know I love you because you're on TV. That show that makes you so famous to me. In living color, I can see you there with that blocker head. You must have cut it much shorter than. Cause you're on TV Washing her pocket Can you tell me if I Will it take me as far As you since you took your plea I wanna be you cause You're on TV I seen the pictures of Your family I just keep thinking if I Run that far I'd be a superstar I know that's the place I should be I'm Jim Perey, Los Angeles, and that was CNN reporter Bobby Arnoff with a glimpse of O.J.'s life in the 80s. Once again, O.J. Simpson, the man universally adored as both hero and legend, is now the prime suspect in the double homicide of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. We're, we're just getting reports that Los Angeles District Attorney Gil Garcetti is about to make a major announcement. CNN takes you there live. The ladies and the gentlemen... I will be brief. Yesterday morning, the LA Police Department put up the, uh, the warrant for the arrest of a Mr. Orbato. <laughs> or, what, what's or the matter for you? Orental? Orental. Orental James Simpson. It was agreed with Mr. Simpson that he would have voluntarily hand himself to the authorities this morning at 10 a.m. This did not occur. Therefore, effective immediately in all points, a bulletin has been put out for the arrest of a Mr. O. J. Simpson. Yeah. Olga Boychuk, Beggarville Observer. Mr. Garcetti, do you have any idea of Mr. Simpson's whereabouts? Olga, at this time we have no clues as to the whereabouts of the suspect. <laughs> yeah. uh, of course not, uh, Dr. Express. Mr. Garcetti, do you plan to take this case on personally? Forrest, thank you, thank you very much for the vote of confidence, but no, Marsha Clark, oh. our best assistant TA has already been assigned to the case. Uh, Miss Clark, Miss 
Clark, I read the town of Washington Post. How will public opinion influence this case? Do you think he's guilty of such a scandal? Do you think he's guilty of such a scandal? Do you think he's guilty of such a scandal? Do you think he's guilty of such a scandal? Yes, we will try him when we find him. Oh, Miss Clark, you mean you'll try him if you can find him? With all the manpower at your disposal, Miss Clark, how can such a well-known celebrity as O.J. Simpson slip through your fingers? Look, why don't you boys and girls just run along and write your little, little stories? We will find him. Give me a break. What do you think? He's out in plain sight, riding around the freeway or something? This press conference is over. Oh, Miss Clark, if you want to <laughs> A bronco went man out to take a spin, trying to keep ahead of half the cops in southern LA. We're going to catch the fish, the game is being all this spread. He's got a pistol in his hand. We're going to catch him in the end. Jacking on the phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tells his mommy he's alone. Mm -hmm. I wonder what'll happen to me. We are suspicious of the man. He's got the thousand in his bed. The weak will never understand. We gonna catch him in the end. Junkie Ford thought perhaps we'd be ignored. No time for feeling very bored with guns and badges drawing so near. He's heading for the pit. He's bound to make another trip and redefine the word tight end. I'll stick to Chevy's, that's my friend. Don't say a thing, Juice. Without a lawyer here, I saw that on TV. Hey, you shut up. You and enough trouble already. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! 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 Now, chew out. Listen, officer, if you got no charges to lay on us, then we could just walk. I saw that on TV, too. Oh, wee wee. Well, how about weeding a parade without a license? A one in your mouth up over the speed, women! Oh, Phil, 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 take it easy. Take it easy, Phil. Mm. Phil. Take it easy. Okay, take it easy, Phil. Okay. Okay, Mr. Simpson, we just want to put a few of the pieces of this puzzle together. Now, you said you left LAX just after midnight on the 13th, and you checked in with three or four pieces of luggage, right? Three or four? What's it matter? It matters because Mr. Brian Kalen said he thinks OJ checked in with five pieces of luggage. Who? It's Widow Beach Bum, buddy. Cato! Cato! Ha! He can't count that high. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he will, he can. He watches Sesame Street every day. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, Mr. Allen Park, your Wimbo driver, also claims to have seen five pieces of luggage. So he's a bad shark. Big deal. Airports lose stuff all the time. Ain't no big thing to juice. No big thing to him, but details like that keep us up all night. You guys are up night with heartburn from all the coffee and donuts you eat. Oh, really? Well, you won't have to worry about that in county jail. And I've had just well, about enough. Any more questions, Mr. Simpson? Phil, what's going on? Shapiro Kardashian, legal counsel for Mr. Simpson. <laughs> Have these officers informed you of your rights, O.J.? Oh, I didn't think so. Who is responsible for this grievous miscarriage of justice? Miss Doolittle, 
File a 442 motion immediately. Also add a 251 and a 337. And don't forget a 523, Robert. Good idea, Robert. Have these officers mistreated you in any way, OJ? What do you think, Robert? Possible memory lapse due to severe personal trauma? Highly likely, Robert. He may feel fine now, but who knows what could show up in, let's say, a few weeks. Or a few years, Robert. Very true, Robert. Hey, what about me? I'm feeling kind of poorly right now myself. And you are? I'm AC. I want your name, sir, not your sexual preference. <laughs> I'm a Al Callings. Never, Never heard of you. you. I think you should have an immediate medical and psychological examination to document OJ's pitiful condition. Hey, what about my pitiful condition? See a veterinarian. I think the first thing we need to do is get these whole Hey, who the together. hell do you guys think you are walking in on an interrogation of a suspect like this? <laughs> It's our jungle, judicial jungle, where we know wrong from right. Our legal jungle, it's where we rumble, a stage where we can fight. Oh, do you need some lawyers now? Juice must have his day, so we'll take his ex spouse, make her a real louse, and turn the waters gray. Oh, With him we know the score Whoa. Then there's Marsha She's kinda harsh She's quite a tricky door do We know what don'ts and do's do. We won't take a Like you found yourself a new clown, a client to defend their a Paul. Ms. Pluck. It is still Miss, still a woman of the people I see. Nobody offered you a real job yet. I'm perfectly happy working for the city. Besides this case, well, it's kind of like my briefcase here. Simply opened and shut. Absolutely. Just like Garcetti's thinking. By the way, where is he? I thought for sure he'd want to hog the limelight. <laughs> DAs don't get directly involved in cases. You should know that by now, Shapiro. Right, doesn't want to stick his neck out on the political chopping block. It, it's just that I can handle this. Miss Clark, is that a new hairstyle? I don't know whether to call you the new do or the no can. Do. At least I won't be pulling my hair out when my mountain of evidence buries your client. Right, so where's the rest of your lynch mob? What makes you think I need anyone else to handle you? What? You don't stand. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you please rise and pay tribute to that master of judicial jocularity, that Follow on a superior court, a judge would rather crack up than crack down.
than what Peccadillo or the Penal Code are we confronted with today? It does Simpson matter, Your Honor. Does Simpson matter? Yes, Your Honor, the double homicide. Marge and Homer Simpson have been murdered? <laughs> In the matter. Not the kids. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so that's all the docket. Oh, 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 yes, the uh, state of California versus Joe Simpson. <laughs> Your Honor, if I might interject. Miss Clark, is that a new hairstyle? Oh, I'm so glad you knew. <clears throat> you had a comment. Yes, I believe there is a typo on the court's docket. I noticed that, Miss Clark. But in uh, California versus Jojo, the psychic, the first name is spelled in a similar fashion. No. Um, I believe that the court's docket agenda page should read the state of California versus O.J. Simpson. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so! Ah, ah, that certainly makes more sense. I see counsel for the defense is present. Good morning, Mr. Shapiro. Good morning, Your Honor. Is the defendant ready to enter a plea? He is, Your Honor. Okay, and how does he plead? Mr. Simpson pleads absolutely 110% not guilty. Uh-huh. We'll just round that off to an even 100%. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> All right, the defendant having entered a plea is now entitled to trial by jury. Shall we begin? Uh, this shouldn't take very long. <laughs> this is Jim Perry in Los Angeles. I'm here with... We're just receiving word that a, a commuter train near Wichita, Kansas has been struck by a meteorite about half the size of a Ford Bronco. <laughs> Apparently we have some live footage. And we'll show it to you when coverage of the O.J. Simpson trial begins. For weeks now, both the prosecution and the defense have been scrutinizing prospective jurors for participation in the trial of the century. But so far, they've only managed to agree on ten spots in the jury box and in alternate roles. I'm joined by a few legal analysts, Gerda von Schnauwick, a special undergraduate at Don King Law School, and Roger Jolly, former prosecutor for Bunkin Traffic Court and author of Legal Loophole, Hiding Between the Lines. Gerda, do you think the defense and prosecutors are being too persnickety about the jury selection process? Oh, I don't think so there, Jim. This is the one time when you cited the direct influence on the makeup of this jury, don't you know? Roger, with this protracted search for jurors on either side. Uh, Jim, there is absolutely no chance that this or any delays will come In my book, legal loopholes, how do you the lines? Now then we'll pay back 799 bookstores everywhere. I need both an insightful segment to this process. I think it adequately evaluates the subtleties we've encountered so far. Oh, jeez, Roger. I think I'm going to have to disagree with you there. You know, I read your book, and I recall only one almost flippant remark about this here area. Well, Gerda, as a student of law, you undoubtedly lack the insight only legal practice can provide. I do review your book, my friend. It appears that jury selection has recommenced. CNN takes you back to the courtroom, live. Next. Um, what is this? It's a piece of paper. Like my resume, of course. I heard you were hiring, so I thought I'd get down here early for sure. <laughs> well, thank you for your resume, dear, but we won't be needing it, you see, because jury members are selected. They are not hired. Oh, like whatever. <laughs> you pay them, don't you? Like, to sit around all day and do nothing? <laughs> Sounds perfect. Well, that's not exactly what they do when a jury is impaneled. <laughs> oh, I know that. And they get to sleep a lot and go to movies and basketball games. Way cool. <laughs> you know, I don't think you'd even like serving on a jury. It only pays $5 a day. Oh, that's okay for sure. Because, like, I can work my way up. <laughs> 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 you know, you could be overqualified for this job. Oh, bummer. Again. 
like to call the next candidate for sure. <laughs> Sir, please have a seat. Good day, sir. And good day to you, counselor. Let me start by asking you one very, very important question. Where did you get that suit? Objection, Your Honor. This man's taste in clothing has absolutely nothing to do with his qualifications to serve on the jury. Your Honor, appraising this man's socioeconomic profile is crucial to evaluating his perspective on very key and fundamental issues. My God, will you look at that lining? I'll, uh, I'll allow this line of questioning. Besides, he is very well dressed. Um, Ralph Lauren? Uh, Hugo Boss. Ooh! <laughs> Mr. Shapiro, please continue. Thank you, Your Honor. You look very familiar, sir. What, what is your profession? I'm a lawyer, much like yourself, sir. <laughs> I doubt that. Are you affiliated with any of the firms represented here today? No, sir. I'm with Dewey, Scroom, and Howe. <laughs> Your firm didn't by chance represent a young stewardess several years ago who sued a member of the legal defense team for palimony. Did they? No, I, I believe it was a member of the LA Rams cheerleaders that sued you, Mr. Yes. Yes, it was. The defense objects to this candidate, Your Honor. Tacky suit. You are excused, sir. May we have the next prospective juror? in serving on a jury. I think so. <laughs> I'm not very busy. Oh! <laughs> um, <clears throat> would your business or your professional status suffer as a result of your absence? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> We're always telling me it hurt to get lost. <laughs> well, what about your personal life? Don't think it could get much worse. <laughs> in fact, it may even get Better. Uh, better? Yeah. How could it possibly get better, sir? Well, because of the visits. The visits? Yeah. Could you elaborate on visits, please? Well, I heard. Hmm? Oh, 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 come here. Come here. Come I heard that jurors get. Conjugal visits? <laughs> I figured if you're supplying someone for these visits, how could I lose? <laughs> Drink! Drink! <laughs> One sweet butter pickle. <laughs> She's got my gonads in a gargle. <laughs> waka waka waka. Your style of love awaits, my dear. And now a word from our sponsor. Some experts blame it on the sunny climate of Southern California, and others just say that it's the natural consequence of. So many people crammed into an area, but whatever the cause, we here at the California Retreat for the Emotionally Wobbly, or crew, offer a variety of programs designed to help with your recovery. Now, ever since our license was reinstated, we've introduced some rather forward-thinking policies including making certain that at least half of crew's board of directors are recovered mental patients. This reinforces our ability to truly understand the people that we serve. So, if you or one of your loved ones needs to, you know, dear, get back on track as it were, 
You give us a ding dong and remember our slogan. Don't let paranoia annoy you. <laughs> now go get a wee bit of paper and pets and write down the number here. It's one eight hundred. Not not. Oh, and for those of you with multiple personalities, you don't need to worry. You only have to pay one charge. <laughs> Welcome back to CNN's coverage of the O.J. Simpson trial of the century. As usual, I'm joined by our two legal analysts, Greta Von Schauser and Roger Jolly. Incidentally, CNN has just learned that Roger now holds the distinction of having had his book, Legal Loopholes, declared the most insignificant how-to publication of the year. You just had to bring that up, didn't you, Jim? This is a news network, Roger. Well, Jim. I bet our viewers don't know that you tried to buy a law degree just so you could host this show. Or that you're so cheap you cut your own hair. News Network. Alright. <laughs> uh, Gerda, uh, what we do regard as uh, one of the more uh, memorable moments in this trial? Oh my! You bought your law degree, did you then? Uh, Gerda, we're getting off topic here. So, you didn't have to go to law school that far. Oh jeez, 11 years Gerda. of tuition. Gerda, other than the last few minutes, what would you regard as uh, one of the more unusual or surprising moments in this trial? Well, I don't know, I guess the testimony of Kate O'Day in there, especially when the prosecution got down to the re 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 direct examination. So, how much did the degree cost you then? And everything you've told us so far has been the truth, hasn't it, Mr. Galen? <laughs> Totally. Uh, and you have nothing further to add? Unless you want me to show you something else. I'm versatile. I'm an actor. Uh, no, 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 no. It's fine for right now. We'll let you know. Uh, nothing further for this witness, Your Honor. Right on. High tide. Uh, uh, Mr. Kalen. Mr. Kalen. Return to the witness stand. The court has not dismissed you yet. Bummer. Now then, Mr. Kalen, the court has granted me the right to treat you as a hostile witness. Do you know what this means? Dude, no callback? You didn't like me. No, well, that's not the important part. It means that we have some doubts about some of your previous testimony. So we're going to go over a few points again. Oh. Now. You claim that for a time you lived in a pool house in Nicole Brown Simpson's residence, is this correct? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of. A cool pad. <laughs> and then you were going to move with Ms. Brown uh, when she moved into the Brentwood condo, is this correct? Yeah. Well, you see, I was moving with her. But I wasn't moving with her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows what you mean, Mr. Kalen. Objection, Your Honor. The prosecution is making statements, not asking questions. As insightful as your observations and comments are, Miss Clark, it is not phrased properly. Objection sustained. Um, okay, Mr. Kalen, let's clarify what was just said. Why did you not move in with Miss Brown when she moved into the Brentwood condo? What? Why did she, you not move in with Miss Brown when she moved into the Brentwood condo? Oh, well, uh, O.J. <laughs> O.J. said I could stay in his days, be closer to the action. <laughs> Just what did Mr. Simpson charge you for these accommodations? <laughs> Nothing. Huh. Righteous dude. Huh. Well, what duties were you obligated to perform in exchange for such a magnanimous gesture? Nothing, really. <laughs> my, oh my. Well, what tasks did you oh. perform then of your own volition to express your gratitude? Well, usually nothing. So just how would you characterize this relationship between you and Mr. Simpson? A trade-off. Yeah, Mr. Me. Kalen, if you're just uh, here to be a character witness for the defendant, why did your father showing up? Well, I came to be the show, spent the morning just fixing my hair. Then my sham, the boys, hey, they let me have the very best chair. 
a single male genotype from all the samples supplied to your lab, do you? Under most circumstances. Oh, goodness, yes. Under most circumstances? Mm -hmm. Most circumstances? Doctor, isn't it possible that a significant margin of error could creep into the overall results? Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, no objection, Your Honor. Castle is badgering the witness. The same. <coughs> I'll rephrase that question, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Sheck, move on. Oh, it's 
after all that question, Your Honor, I think I've made my point. <laughs> you did not. You did not. not, not, not. Fire! Fire! I hear enough of that kind of stuff from my in-laws. <laughs> Mr. Sheck, do you have any more questions? As a matter of fact, I do, Your Honor. Go Barry! Go Barry! Go Barry! <laughs> Dr. Cotton, how many times did you perform the genotype tests? Uh, sir, if I can just refer to my notes... An approximation will do, Doctor. Oh, but sir, we are scientists. We do not approximate. <laughs> Oh, I guess five or ten times? Dr. Cotton, isn't it standard procedure in LAPD labs to run such tests twenty times? Uh, well, in certain situations... Yet you just testified that your lab only ran the test no more than ten times. Yes. My simple finger math alone, does that not make the test results only half as reliable? <laughs> well, doesn't it? Well, no. Doesn't it? You, you see, if you And test at results it... which are only... Half this reliable would serve to at least double the defendant's claim of yes, innocence. Double his innocence. Wouldn't they? Well, you see. Wouldn't if, they? You know, if, if I use my calculator. I have I no can, more questions, Sir. I can figure this out. You did not! Ms. Clark, before you begin your re re redirect, the court will take its mid session mini break. We'll adjourn for 15 minutes. What the heck was that double talk that Sheck was throwing at you? Did you know he was going to throw that garbage at you? Oh, well, gee, you know, I think that's just what it was, was garbage. And when we come back after the break... Break! I, yes. You have got the next 15 minutes to figure out Barry's bullshit. Look, I, I don't want to sit over there looking any stupider than I have to, okay? Um, we need those results, Dr. Cotton. Robin. Remember, we need those results. Oh, all the little beacons standing in a row. Put them in the centrifuge and watch them all go. Splitting up the swatches, starting in the band. Did the bloody glove touch Mr. Simpson's hand? Cotton Robin. Get a backdrop. Cotton Robin. Test. Here is been a snow. The prosecution screaming, bring me more to use. Check the funny marks on his Bruno Mali shoes. Cotton Robin. Beat the clock. Cotton Robin. Tick, tick, tock. Oh, Cotton Robin, you could be working all the time. Oh, she got some experts with whom I can't agree. Each of them is saying things I don't believe. Defense lawyers claiming I got no real degree. Said I mailed out 20 bucks and got Robin. Too much talk. Cotton Robin. It's a crop. Oh, Cotton Robin, you could be wasting all your time. <laughs> this concludes today's regular coverage of O.J. Simpson trial. You can get a summary of today's events. In our nightly wrap up show, did anything really happen at the trial? <laughs> we'll let 2 a.m. Eastern phone in on our special 1 900 poll to vote for Solicitor of the Day. And court transcripts can be downloaded from our special OJ net at www.juicejump at cnn.com. Please join us again tomorrow. Uh, we're just getting word that OJ Simpson is being taken from Parker Center to County Jail. CNN takes you there with our live location camera. You guys see me yet? OJ, come yet? Oh, look at everybody. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I thought I had a What's going on? Did I miss anything? Is OJ here? There he is. Oh, there he is! OJ, what's on my Tell me, Juice, what it's like inside. Could we say that it hurt your pride? On that facts no one else has heard. We'll tell all each and every word. Is there room to perfect your swing? Will this trial cost you everything? Let us know what you think of her. We'll sell more if it sounds absurd. Is there room to perfect your swing? Will this trial cost you everything? Let us know what you think of her. We'll sell more if it sounds absurd. Tell me just what it's like inside Could we say that it hurt your mind? All that facts no one else has heard We'll tell all each and every word Tell me just what it's like inside Could we say that it hurt your mind? All that facts no one else has heard We'll tell all each and every word
heard. Did you point the finger then? Cause that's what we just heard. What with LAPD looks are just a bad day. I know you signed to autographs before you sent away. Some say that you did need some claimant to free. Can it be that serious or is it all a game? If it's all the news, all the news. You gotta lose, gotta lose. What for a cue? For a cue. Get great reviews, great reviews. It's all the news, all the news. You gotta lose, gotta lose. What for a cue? For a cue. Get great reviews, great reviews. Oh, hey man, you're in the can. That's not the place to maintain a tan. <laughs> Superstar, do you think they'll serve you steak tartar? <laughs> oh, J Man, you're in the can. That's not the place to maintain a tan. Or a ball, superstar. Will you ask us for a better car? Hey, what's the scoop on that guy? Ron was here, Rex is mad. Not the one we'll pick you now and tell us what you can. You're the latest rage. Bought him in the cage. In the cage. Help set the stage. Set the stage. Don't be front page. Front page. Really so. Really so.
stand them on their heads, this is our, and I... Why bother? Why even think about it? Because you're right. It would be terrible. Now look, I need to be here. And you can bring your... No, 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 that's silly. Come on, that's what's the matter. I'm not so sure it would help. You chicken! You know this. We, the media, thought that you have been indecisive throughout this whole trial. You know? We were correct, too. <laughs> now, just a minute. <laughs> First, you say it's one thing, then you said another. No. No. Yes, but I can explain why I said that it might not be No, one. you just changed your mind again anyway. No. No. You want to know what I'd say? No. You really want to know? As a judge in a legal division, there's some rumors that I'd like to kill. No, I haven't lost control in a year, and I don't prefer sake to beer. But with these jerks to the left of me and closers to the right, it's my ass. Why? Of the crime scene, what? You 
quite like familiar. Is, is, is that correct? Yes, sir. We have no questions as to how the work from the Monday crime scene moved five miles to 360 rocket miles, assuming that the defendant didn't move it there himself. Either he did it, or he was magic. Magic! Precisely. Let me try a little demonstration now. Thank you, Vernon. The prosecution likes demonstrations. Objection, Your Honor. I withdraw the remark. Now, <laughs> Detective Vernon, let's say that this code represents the Bundy Promise. Hey! This one, Rocking Hat. And the last one, you. Okay? Well, you're a toy. Yeah, take it from me. I'm going to slip this little glove underneath the bundle. <laughs> Try to see. Now, there was a great deal of confusion, I think. What's the answer? That's my big brothers, not me. So, first of all, I made a mistake about it. Some of the facts, like whether crime scene glove actually was. Not me. Oh. It appears that our crime scene glove has vanished, Detective Vernon. Maybe it's at Rockingham. Oh. I guess that means you. <laughs> yes, it does. The bank scene glove has entirely vanished. Where could it possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
continue. Thank you, Your Honor, and God bless you. <laughs> it's plain to see which side spent the Sunday morning in church and which side didn't. We were the whole defense team as we are every Sunday, praying at Mr. Simpson's ordeal be shortened. And every night after the court, as we're tallying up his bill, we're praying even more for his freedom, for we're certain he doesn't fit this crime. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me take you back a couple of months ago, when the prosecution demanded that my client try on those gloves. You remember those gloves. It was evident to everybody here, except prosecution that the gloves didn't fit. Oh, they brought in glove experts and leather freaks and everybody and everybody for damage control. But you know and I know that the gloves didn't fit. And ladies and gentlemen, remember what I've been saying all along, that if the gloves don't fit, you must quit. Oh. Gloves. Have you noticed just how fixated they are about clothing and accessories? About the gloves? About the Bruno Mali shoes? About Mr. Simpson's Reeboks? His dress socks? But one item, one particular item, typifies their rush to judgment, their extreme desperation, and that is, is this hat. Now, Prosecution contends that Mr. Simpson slipped off to his ex-wife's home, hoping to remain unrecognized while wearing this brilliant disguise. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've got this hat on, who do I like? Oh, nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that you have all noticed that the defense has gone through great lengths to disparage our witnesses. But what about theirs? Do you remember Mr. Cochran's promise to bring in one of Rosa Lopez, the alleged eyewitness who supposedly saw Mr. Simpson's Ford Bronco parked outside the Rockingham Estate at 10 p.m. on the evening of June 12th? Rosa Lopez? She left the country. Objection there, Ryan. Miss Clark obviously has forgotten how to present the closing argument. Uh, She's oh. trying to influence the jury by impeaching witnesses who haven't even testified. No, I know what I'm doing. Every time closing argument is giving me some latitude. I allow the speculation with limits. Continue, Miss Clark. Thank you very much, Ryan. So, as I was saying before, I was so brutally interrupted. Um. The quality of these witnesses got even worse when they said they were going to bring in one Dr. Terry Mullins to appear and then dropped him too at the last minute. Why do you ask? Well, they said he was away on a little trip, but uh, with his history of LSD abuse, I'm sure he takes some trips all the time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm sorry, Your Honor. No such facts in the Get me con, you things. Shouldn't be confused with the impeccable reputation of a Nobel Prize. Sustain. Sustain. Sustain, Miss Clark. Stick to the rules of closing argument. Well, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was talking about the closing argument. Objection. It's an obvious violation of the one or two year rule. Miss Clark, be quiet. You will direct your comments to the bench. Oh, there you go. Are you not? <laughs> <laughs> is sustained, Miss Clark, and I'm giving you a two hundred dollar fine. Conduct on me coming. Why do 
even more. But I keep thinking about what was lost and what I have been for a young mother and my son.
Sing it all. 